I speaking specifically on Formula One, I'm guessing I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just lay it out there. We talked about it a bit before the show. I didn't let you know. I said I have a different idea of if specifically Formula One <clears throat> who should be considered the greatest of all time. And I'm gonna tell you right now, none of them are drivers. Mm. I had a feeling you were going right. to go this way, and I think I... None yeah. of them are drivers, yeah. right? you got to look at guys like Colin Chapman, right? Adrian Newey, Ross Braun. Mm. Those guys who changed the landscape of the sport purely by a design perspective, because that's what Formula One mm. is. It's And I've said this before, I think, on this show. The sport is way more than driver versus driver. It is engineer versus engineer. This is the battle of the nerds, right? And and and, and if you ask any of these guys what their least favorite part about the car is, it's always the driver. The driver is way less inconsistent than the computer models or anything like that. And so, uh, the you know the the most valuable thing on the on the Formula One grid today is that little notebook that fucking uh adrian newey carries around you know none of the it's none of the drivers yeah. right because there's not a single driver today or, or even in the past that changed the landscape of how the sport operates more than you know like colin yeah. chapman with the lotus the ground effects and the way the skirts would lift up and down depending on how the car was leaning and you know uh, who who designed the fan car, or the the Terrell six wheel? I'm I'm yeah, drawing the, a blank, um, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, like it. I it, I don't think it can be a driver if you're talking about greatest of all time of this sport specifically. Yeah, I think I think you're absolutely right. right. Formula One as a whole, we've spoken about it so much, and and one of the main con- you know the sport has changed so much over the years, but one of the main constants that remains is how completely dependent you are on having the tools to be able to perform Mm -hmm. very little throughout the years of formula one has a driver won the championship in a car that wasn't the fastest i can i'm struggling like fernando alonso in 2012 nearly did it you know um i I would say perhaps perhaps i I don't know because because when max verstappen won in 2021 the mercedes and the red bull were, were basically on top of each other for vast periods I, I can't think of many occasions where the fastest, where the driver won the championship without the fastest car, and even then, it's still going to be a competitive car to be in the conversation. Yeah. So y- you're right. It, it, Formula One has always been more about the car than it is the driver. Yeah, the drivers have to be talented, and and you know you have to be amongst the best in the world to be able to get the most out of them. Yep. But you're not. You could put the greatest drivers, the ones that people call the goats into the worst cars of the years that they won their championships and they wouldn't have done it. Yeah. It's simple. It just wouldn't have happened. So For I, think, all we I know... think you're absolutely right. It's got to be, and, and I, I'm so glad you led with Colin Chapman because he is absolutely the yeah. one that I would pick above all of them. I would pick Colin Chapman or Bruce because... McLaren or Dan yeah. Gurney, but I, I, I would put Colin above all of them. Yeah. And I'm biased because I'm from the region like so yeah. it, it, it well close anyway it's just over the border um you know the, the the strides that they took with innovation in formula one in that period in the 60s you know it was those moments of, of evolution with aerodynamics with weight saving with the car shaping that was all pioneered from people like lotus and like conan chapman and those design principles have remained to this day yep. you know that there, there has been nothing that has been more crucial into how formula one looks today you know it, we said it changes so much but so much of it can be traced back to what they did in norfolk and and yeah colin chapman i, I think you're absolutely right and i would vote colin this, this is into the apex motorsport podcast, podcast network, network.